ladies and gents, what it is up? It is a BEA beautiful afternoon yes, today. Papa. And welcome back to the Low Collegiate League in partnership with Smart. Once again, we are your casters for today. This is Arctic of War Gods, La Liga Filipinas. And of course, Shinbu with the one for an eSports shoutcaster para sa inyo mga kaibigan mula sa isang napakabigat na Game 1 oh, between yeah. Trinity University of Asia versus Coleo at San Lorenzo. We're gonna proceed with Game 2. Game 2, ladies and gentlemen, wag na natin patagalin to. Let's get into the drafting phase so Coach can have it. It's gonna be Philomar Christian University versus University of Cordilleras. Coach, anong meron? Yes, well, looking at the bands first of all, the Talia, well, I'm actually interested in seeing that this Talia was banned kasi nakita nga natin kanina yung strength ng Talia earlier ah, during Ah, Holy that Angel game. University tayo dito. Hindi pila mo Christian University. We have oh, Holy okay. Angel University. Uh, yes. Ayan. And again, kanina no, Talia. Kwento na Talia. Have you played Talia? Yes, I've played a little bit of Talia. Like, I've tried using her in the different lanes. I've tried her top lane. I've tried her mid. Even. Support. What about support? support? Of course, support. support. Yes. <laughs> oh, Very fun. Na? Actually, yeah. Like, bumato ba like, sa'yo ng tinapay? <laughs> Kasi, di ba, pag binato mo ng bato, babatohin ka ng tinapay. Yeah, Wala that was like bandisal. <laughs> so, how was it? How was it? How, yeah, how was Talia? How I was really Talia love Talia. Talia. Like, I think it's all a matter of finding the right comp that really complements her. Because she's not necessarily the type of mid laner that goes in all comps. But once you do make sure that you get her on the right comp, then she just performs absolutely beautifully. And I think... I'm really looking forward to seeing a team that could really utilize Talia. Ito, may I ask, sino yes. mga champions sa palagay mo good pair with Talia? Talia, well, let's see. Cause, and naisip ko, Poppy. Yeah, Kasi kapag like naka-unraveled art ka, yung push ni Poppy, yung heroic charge niya, yes. good go combo with that unraveled art. Pero ano pa kaya? I feel like for Talia, it's more of champions that can, of course, peel, push, uh, or peel, peel for her. And then at the same time, provide a little bit of CC so that it would be much more easier to land her skills at the same time. And of course, like, for example, you have that wall from the ult. So there are champions that can benefit from that, like the Vayne who could condemn into the wall of Talia. So just one of the many things that could, one of the many possibilities. That never imagine that. Never imagine that we're going to have a spotlight on Talia. Yes. Kasi, Nung lumabas din si Talia, talaga siya damage. Okay siya, yung kit niya. Pero agreeing with Amplifier, yung damage siya kind of conditional. Yes, that's kind true. Kind of conditional. Pero siguro nakaka-adjust na kasi yung mga tao sa kit niya. Especially now that the Seismic Shop has been updated. Hindi na siya double tap na you click it to activate. Then yeah. you click it again para mabigay yung direction. This time, it works like a rumble ult. Ah, I diba? see. Just click and drag kung saan direction mo. Yeah, it actually makes it much more easier. Because yeah. like, when I've been using Talia with the old mechanic that I had, it makes it a bit more harder. And sometimes, like, if you're not conscious about it, it you end up flinging the enemy in an unintended direction. Yeah, so, eh, mas malapit sa yun. <laughs> exactly. Sa yun yung compromising. Isa sa mga na natutunan ko kay Talia, kay Fade. Kay yeah. Fade. Oh, yeah. Uh, one of the big mid laners. I think siya yung favorite mid laner. Dati si Light, ganun. Yes. Pero parang si Fade, kailangan nila siguro ng malupit talaga ng team. Pero kasi si Light talaga, like, malakas na yun overall eh, palagi. Si Fade, ang natutunan ko kay Fade was, the combo na iaano mo muna, unraveled earth muna. Yes. Ay, mali, seismic shove muna, bago unraveled earth. Yes. Usually kasi ang combo ng mga tao, unraveled earth, tapos seismic shove. Pero parang nagiging mas predictable kayo. Saka ang haba ng delay nun, mas mabilis yung combo kung habang drawing pa lang yung seismic shove, may unraveled earth oh, na yeah. lalabas. And even if pag nanak up yung kalaban, akala mo parang, eh paano yun? Hindi yun mananak up ng ganong kabilis. Paano mapoproc yung, ano? Paano mapoproc yung Unraveled Earth? Yes. Actually, abot na abot pa siya. The moment na inuna mo yung Seismic Shop, tapos saka mo sinunod yung Unraveled Earth, yung knockback nung Seismic Shop, andun pa rin. May mga spikes pa rin mula dun sa Unraveled yes. Earth. So, that's one nice combo being done. You should check the replay and highlights. I think, yun, ni Fade, ni Fade. Yes. Uh, and like, we were actually casting that game, you know? Uh, and what's so amazing with Fade on that Talia, his mechanics and how fast he's able to execute uh, yeah. the combos. If you remember that game now. So our gods. Exactly, uh, there you I go. Where did he play the team? Adobo Republic. Adobo Republic, with Nico. Yes, one nila of nila PF. a mix of the PGS veterans. Oh, uh, uh, and I know we are now live here yes. at the drafting page. So, 
Tira natin, running the compositions. Ano mga insights mo dito? So, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, we're looking at Holy Angel University versus University of the Cordilleras for North Luzon. So, of course, we saw how Talia was well played. I think that Talia was on the losing side earlier, yeah. though, right? But still, nonetheless, a really good performance from, from Trinity. Midnight. Midnight yes, uh, exactly. Oh. And so, yes. Yan, sa siguro, mamaya, pag dating yeah. sa ating <laughs> because we're, gonna ab we're about to load up on the summer next trip. Take note, guys, game to palang to of the six games natin ngayon. Yeah. Uh, we have a really loaded Saturday, actually sa Sunday pa, galing din sa Friday, and loaded as is mamaya, we have the sleepies for the week. Oh, uh, oh yes. Bro. Diretso tayo doon. No? Oh, oh, yeah. Bro. Walang kasama tulugan si, mamaya. Kasama si Catch Garina. Ayan, oh, she's gonna be captain yes, later. Sa TNC, oh, nice. our papa. Nice. Ayan, Blas Rambo Real. So, uh, it's a midnight gaming marathon. Siguro kung gusto nyo dumaan, pwede pa kayo humabol sa registration. Kita kits tayo bukas. I'm excited to see kung sino yung mga magiging part ng team ko. And oh, team Shin Boo. Kung sino mga mga kalaro namin dyan. Andiyan si Glad Gloco. Andiyan sila... Andiyan sila Gloco. Andiyan sila Mimo. Sila Kairi. I'm not sure. Ewan ko, baka dumaan si Eman eh. Eman ni Mendes so, from I'm the Celebrity sure. Match. Oh, yes. Uh, kaya lang, ewan ko kung may school daw siya or something. Oh, you have to know. You have to know. Hopefully. And, hopefully. Oh, pero all participants. Yes. We get to take off the Eleon Nar. And you know, I... Eleon Nar skin. Oh, oh, so yeah. there's like these bonuses if you're participating. Yeah, oh, yeah. kahit VIP ka or regular register. Oh, that's LA so nice. nice. But I got it to hand it to communities like Rumble Royale. Uh, like, there's... I really must give props to these guys because uh, these are people that really reach out to the community oh, and yes. provide much more activity. So, salute to everybody behind Rumble Royale. Hope yeah, you guys actually, are tuning in right now. Hindi lang Rumble Royale, any person that reaches out to the average gamer. Yes. And talaga, kasi... It's the very best. Like, ang mga viewers natin ngayon, sa mga manlalaro natin ngayon, diba, parang naglalayo, naglalaro kayong League of Legends. Tapos siguro nakita niya lang itong stream na ito, ito siguro sa League of Legends fan page, di ba? Pero ayun, we want to send a message na, beyond your gaming, there are many stuff up there. We have Rampage, yes. we have the International Collegiate League. Alam mo ba, pinopromote na yung International Collegiate League oh, sa mga bansa. Yes. From... Ang nakalagay, ano, get the chance to participate in International Collegiate League. Philippines. So, Philippines? Uh, uh, so, parang kung merong mga parang, kunyari, ang Rampage, ang All-Star ngayon sa Barcelona. Yeah. Diba? Oh, parang ngayon ang pinopromote yung International Collegiate League sa Philippines. Kaganda. So, we are gonna be the host for this year. Yeah, of the International wow. Collegiate League. Oh, Imagine that, mga pre. We're gonna be seeing school students from other countries, di ba? No. Yung mga pangarap yung student, babaeng student. Hindi, <laughs> joke lang. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. I mean, <laughs> We get to interact with other summoners from other schools. Most of mga estudyante pa sila, di ba? Ang saya na makita yung mga katulad natin. Karamihan ng mga players natin ay estudyante, di ba? Of course, oh, yes. we get to the youth. And you know, yun nga, it's just a clear message of telling everyone na hindi ka nag-iisa dyan sa ginagawa mo. Here at League of Legends, we are one big community with tons of good stuff ready and just happening. All for you, all for you. Para sa inyo rin yan, mga viewers natin. Yes, and ladies and gentlemen, we're just waiting for our game to start in a bit. But actually glad that you brought that up because I think it just goes to show how far we've come as a community to be actually chosen as a host country. Yeah. So that's a huge, that's a big deal for us. Yeah, man. Because we get that exposure and we get to really showcase what Filipino talent we have no. here. But ladies and gents, hold that that we are about to go into yes, game two for today between Holy Angel University and... Holy Angel University! And of course, we also have the second school natin. It's gonna be, I think we have... Uh, ano yung game to natin? University of Cordilleras. Cordilleras. There uh, we go. Awesome. Never ko pa nakas ang University of Cordilleras. I think ngayon ko lang sila. I mean, kasi yung ibang games nila kind of unstream. Pero ah, we are yeah. rolling on the wildcard matches natin dito. So again, what we have here is, you know, the match or game two dito sa ating episode. So let's go. Let's go for the champion run. Though. Yes, for the side of Holy Angel University. In the top lane, we have Hao Drin. In the jungle, we have Van on the Zac. And in the mid lane, we have Hello on the Victor. And to sum up the bot lane, we have one of my favorite players in the LCL, Sorel on the Lucian and Pons on the Brom for support. Hello. 
It's me you're looking for. Ay, de, yung kay Adele yung gusto ko. <laughs> <laughs> Hello from the other side. Yeah. Sabi yung University of the Cordilleras. Kami naman yung red side. Invictus Gaming, mga pre. In the top lane, it's gonna be Lucifer. Oh, what? Oh my God. Oh. In the top lane. <laughs> Grabe, naumay na si Lucifer sa impyerno. Nag League of Legends na lang, mga kaibigan. In the jungle, we have Kai on that wave. In the mid lane, it's gonna be YG. And that karma and for the bottom of the way it's gonna be Akinos and that Ezreal ADC and then I'm going to do LHOF on that Alistar support. <laughs> Ang galing nito. Which one? Particular? Itong si Alistar. Nung nag-register to, binagsak niya lang yung kamay niya sa keyboard. What? <laughs> 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 Tapos yan yung IGN niya. Bahala na si Batman. Oh my goodness. And Parang may popronounce yan. M-H-B-G-H-L-F. Oh, oh wait, I think it's an acronym. So... Ano, yung, yung G-H-L-F? Good hack? Laugh pad? <laughs> okay, I'm absolutely <laughs> confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so considering the matchups natin dito, no lane swaps, diba? Standard yes. match. Wala rin ngang invade, mirror jungling. What are your insights sa mga matchups natin ngayon? Well, for today, uh, let's just review the diba? compositions real uh, quick. Yes, we have, for the side of uh, Holy Angel University, we have the Trundle, fairly standard top yep. lane, of course. Yep. The Zack, who has recently been making a comeback, especially highlighted by the godlike place that Tamsu had during Rampage 2016. Yes, and the Victor as well, one of... Personally, one of my favorite mm -hmm. mid laners, although immobile, but still fairly good pick there from Holy Angel University. And of course, uh, Lucian and Brom, which, you know, <laughs> with the passive from the Lucian, makes it very easier to yes, proc man. those Brom passives. The Light Slinger. Yes, and uh, for the side of University of Cordilleras, Maokai, you know, we don't really see that much Maokai yeah. these days, if I'm not mistaken, but still fairly viable, but not as strong as he was a few patches back, especially with the current meta. And we have the Graves, of course, a fairly standard jungle, but a yeah. little bit of a trade-off here in the top lane. Actually, I'm putting this matchup in favor of Trundle eh, pag dating sa top lane, lalo oh, na pag dating yes. sa teamfight, yung tankiness ni Maokai, pag nasubjugate yan ni Trundle, medyo... Eh, Asa na yung tankiness ngayon, makawala, di ba? Yes. So, of well waiting the compositions dito, kind of fairly standard for both sides. Ooh, naman, but diba? yeah, Or one flash, and he's just waiting up for the return damage oh! dito. He managed to tag as Dream goes for the turn around. It's gonna be Karai securing the kill. The first blood going to the jungler I, of Invictus Gaming. I did not think Drain was expecting a gang, yeah. especially that early in the game. But hold e, that thought. Ito rin, ito bottom lane na to. On. They're not even expecting the gap. Pero may nakita tayong 3-man pulverize. That will be nice. Hindi ba po proc dito yung Kukasi Blues? Even the last hit won't tag. MGL, GHL, GHLF. That is such a shame. I think yeah. it's... The reaction was a bit faster from the bot lane of Holy Angel University. We would have been able to deal a bit more substantial damage in that gank there from the Zac. But nonetheless, uh, very early ganks that we're seeing here from our junglers. Not even five minutes within the game yet. And yes, uh, uh, going back to the compositions yes. here, we have that Karma. As I mentioned yesterday, I'm a huge fan of that Karma, regardless if you send her in the middle lane. Ganda skinny Karma, eh. Makarena Karma. Yeah, tra 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 <laughs> 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 and, and again, so, so karma. Yes. Yes, the karma. So, um, I think what. Okay, oh, but hold no, that there's a flash there. off Tito, but of course, that flash would be enough to put him into safety. And again, karma? Yes, for the karma. I think that people underestimate her in not just for the unity, but more for her carry yeah. potential. Because what makes karma a really effective mid laner isn't necessarily the Q, isn't okay. the E, but it's actually the W for oh, me. Because okay. the amplified W, the mantra. The uh, Vols yes, yes, because of the sustain that you can gain from the karma. Sometimes you could really bait opponents with that. Yun nga eh. Mm -hmm. Ang iniisip ng opponent ay pag na focus resolve ka, karma is putting herself in a bad position yes, kapag lumalapit exactly. siya sa'yo. Pero hindi yun, may regeneration as you have mentioned. And sometimes like a really well played out in psychologically like you have to kind of play in like a mind game like you kind of look weak but suddenly you have these massive heal you have the f initial 25% and then an additional 25% if you manage to connect that uh, tether within the two seconds needed and that just really makes a good 1v1 when using that karma so talaga pa, it's very worth it pag naka connect si exactly. karma exactly Yes. Kasi madalas na connection ngayon, hindi worth it eh. Mm, diba? There you go. And referring to Alpha. Uh, <laughs> uh, malulungkot na relationship. Diba? Shout Buti out pa sila Alpha. may connection. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! Ganun yung sasabihin ni Alpha, most likely. <laughs> and finally, we have the Ezreal and the Alistar. You know, very standard. The Ezreal kind of pops in and out of the meta, but still mm. very viable. And the Alistar. 
Um, <laughs> not as prominent as before, but still a very solid pick for yeah. me, in my opinion. Yes, really nice. It's, 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 so and I could recall that earlier, when si Alpa, ang ihirit ni Alpa, buti ba sila may connection? Pag tinanong mo naman si Manjin, mm -hmm. Ano yung connection? <laughs> Spell connection. <laughs> oh, damn. I'm really missing these two guys. Shout yeah, out man, to Roger and Gene. When are you going <laughs> to cast alata, them? Hindi alata na mimiss ko na. Yan na lang ako siguro. Hindi, bukas mag-shout ka sila. Oh, one, there one we go. One week nice. up. Peg, ayan. I'm definitely going to watch that. Abangan nyo yung bahag ni Manjin. Ayan. <laughs> But... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, the tether, and oh, look at the damage yeah. coming out from that karma. I'm loving the play from uh, YG here. <laughs> ah, hello, receiving even the, you know, yung extra damage nung improved, nung, nung mantra, mantra inspired na soul flare dito yes. ni karma. Really, ang sakit nun. Uh, crazy damage coming in from that one. Ang problema pa, yung cooldown nun, napaka short yung mana nun. Hindi ganun ka, exactly. hindi ganun ka taas. So, she could just keep on spamming and spamming. And uh, keyword ko for Karma is hustle. Hustle, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, she just goes back and forth in sa lane, sa team fight. Yes, she's just ooh. really crazy. We have a little of a standoff here in the jungle. Jungle, yes. Cry, uh, Cry being spotted off by Van. A little bit of a disrespect there entering the blue jungle there from Cry. Cry me a river indeed. But yes, 0 and 1 on our scoreboard. Yeah, Still I would very say, uh, early. kind of slow pace. Yung game exactly, natin. Yeah. We are now entering the 8-minute mark ng ating laro. Uh, yes. Mid laners natin. Of course, mirroring also their mid lane items. You could see na meros lang low chapter pareha. So, just a matter of spamming your skills that really going for the. Oh! oh my now goodness. we have here in the top lane. Let's bounce! Puts Lucifer in rage, pero tinira na Tori dito. Ay yung minion. So, bumakap dito si Cry. Nako yung team mabate! Dito si Mao Cry! Now, this gonna be a 2v1. Sabi ni Cry dito. And of course, quick draws in. He's gonna go in and manage to tag Hadrin. No, Haudrin! Nang end of the line, and that's gonna be the second kill of the game going to cry. Second kill didn't cry. Now you could see how the Zack will use his passive. Siyempre, aabangan niya lang. Kanina ipapamigay yung kill. Ibinigay ulit kay Cry. Oh As the goodness. one tag return damage doon. Ang end of the line, Graves is now sitting on three kills under 42 CS. He could actually be the second carry ng yes. ating laro dito. And that was a very crucial miss from the elastic slingshot from yeah. Van there. Had that connected, then they would have been able to take down that Maokai. Yon. But unfortunately, it did not connect and the Maokai was able to escape with a slither of health. Nice one spotting up that uh, flow, no? Yes, that's so unfortunate. That could have been in Holy Angels University. That could have been in their favor had it connected. But unfortunately, they paid dearly for that small mishap on Van's part. Oh man, so juicy target si Cry dito. Exactly. If you shut down that Greaves, no, malaking bounty yan. Minsan, you can think na, ah, nakaka-snowball yung isang champion. Parang, yes. ah, talo na, talo na. Pero sa totoo lang, nagigis siyang isang libreng object. Hindi naman libre, pero nagigis siyang isa pang objective for the enemy team. Ang laki ng gold na nakukuha sa bounty in terms of team gold. Yes. Ganyan. And so, yes, University of Cordilleras, you know, I'm really liking how these, um, is this one of the newer teams, I believe, in yeah. the LCL? So these uh -oh. new teams really performing, because for Holy Angel University, sure, I believe it is also their first time in the LCL, but if you're going to look at their lineup, the Hail from Pampanga, so um, similar to University of Iloilo -Ilo boosting their somewhat sister team in terms of location, AEX, mm -hmm. for Holy Angel University, they have G-Hub as their kind of, quote unquote, Pseudo sister team yeah. right there, and also a uh, little bit of For a fun fact: uh, the bot lanes, uh, Holy Angel University, Sarel. He was actually the top one in the solo queue challenger ladder after the recent rank. Yung once na natapos yung sa rank season, oh, oh. so he was at top one. Ito, one itong 2016. Yes, for the reset lang, pero ooh, sige, meron tayong pagbaka dito sa mid lane. Pero of course, there's gonna be a flash burn being done there by YG. Puts him to safety, but that's one crucial summoner spell down. But it's very clear, Hello is steadily losing control of this mid lane. Yes, Hello it does not want to be looked for in this case, you know. Especially, that's not a position you want to particularly be, pero if you're gonna look at the CS naman, uh -uh. very good job good by job both naman. sides. Because as you saw earlier, um, Hello well, was getting a lot of laser because Victor. Eh. Yeah, that's uh -oh. true. And, um, In terms of health lang, ah, na lagi siya napapanish dito ni YG. Pero what can you expect from a karma? True. <laughs> and like one 
thing I would also like to point out is this Graves. Because if you kind of remember, I'd like to reference AEX once again, if, yes. if you guys don't mind. Um, they had this competition when they did the mid Nami, and then if you kind of look at the balance there, um, early game Tom Seuss Graves was the one carrying because of the extreme lead that he had, and transcending into the late game, it was the vein. Mm -hmm. So I think for University of Cordilleras, they're in a fairly good position with this Graves, wherein he, you know, the early Control game, the, the damage, early and exactly. mid game. Uh -oh. Tapos pagdating ng late game, sige, Akinos na. There Tsaka actually, go. ang ganda ng groove ngayon ni YG. Exactly. Diba? So enter late game, that karma is gonna be a problem. You could see that there's kind of a 2k gold lead din. Ah, yes. Para sa si Invictus Gaming dito, that's big, di ba? Pagdating sa early game na, for 11 minutes into the game, di ba? So exactly. we have the Ocean Drake up pa, kind of a good objective oh, rent yes. in terms of control. Though pagdating sa ward coverage, halos sa bayan lang itong dalawa. Itong Holy Angel University and of course, University of the Cordilleras. This is force majeure. Yes. Mula ah, sa Holy Angel University. Very I like nice the name. name. Yeah. It has a nice ring to it. Yeah. Para sa mga hindi nakakaalam, force major is like a uh, political term. Ah, okay. Na, kunyari, merong isang case tapos ang sinabing reason ay force major. Parang ano yun? God's will. Oh, wow. Uh, so you heard it folks from Professor Shin. Right <laughs> <laughs> Parang pag, yun, pag sinabing force major, ayun, walang may kasalanan. Parang God's okay. will na yun. Parang Ah, so, okay, force. gotcha. Major force, gotcha. ganun. Yeah. Well, you got, pag trinan, it's late mo. But so, ayan, mga pre. <laughs> still, this is a very slow match that we're seeing. Sure, yeah. it's 0 and 3, but like the pace of this game isn't as fast as the other games that we've seen over the past day, as of from yesterday to today. So, but, oh, look at this trade-off yeah, happening pre, between no? Drin and Lucifer. Medyo heavy gets tired dito sa top lane. Pero again, it's just a matter of trading up eh. Kasi... I could say na kung pagdating nga sa early game skirmishes, it's leaning more para sa Holy Angel University. Mm, Pero ano nangyayari, true. Graves alone, siya yung nakaka-step up pa to control this mid and early game. Exactly. Kahit pa yung composition nila, aside from Graves, actually, kasama rin si Graves. Mm. Scaling composition. It takes time para magkaroon ka talaga ng clear spike mula sa Karma. Ooh. And also Ezreal, di ba? If yes. you would want. Pero yun, may mana mute na rin si Ezreal. So things are just looking so good dito sa Invictus. Kung force major para sa Holy Angel University, yun, one deep word. Yung Invictus din eh, di ba? Hmm. Yan yung kay parang poetry ni Nelson Mandela. Wow! Or I may missing something. Iba yata yung name. Pero alam mo yung poetry na I'm the captain of my fate. Yes. Di ba? Okay. Uh, And ang oh, ganda nun, you, you, you should search that one. Isa sa mga uh, sayings na nanggaling kay uh, actually kaka-pass by pa lang ni Nelson Mandela. Eh. Oh. Invictus. Yan, okay. Pero ayan, we have an infernal Drake. Up, up mga yes. kaibigan and it's kind of dangerous na ngayon para sa side dito ng Holy Angel University kung you know they lose the pace of this game against Invictus kasi pagdating sa late game scaling nakaabang yung ano eh karma nakaabang din yes. yung Maokai nakaabang din si Ezreal siguro isang game changing isang game changing champion dito na pwede or ace din trump card ng ano Holy Angel is Trundle para palambutin si Maokai pero Trundle is sitting on 0 to 0 KDA eh, eh. di ba? Yes and I just noticed University of Cordilleras has two dragons na pala. Two dragons na ang yeah, University of Cordilleras. So they have oh the ocean and the cloud. I did not notice that first um, dragon. Ah kasi it. Graves nag solo dragon siya. Ah, okay, Napakaaga ta recently kakakuha lang ng Ocean Drake or Cloud Drake and yan we have the Infernal Drake now available. So I must say I'm very impressed by University of Cordilleras. Yeah. They know what they need to be doing and early nice game. And objective control the yes, rotations. This is somewhat um, of a disadvantage for Holy Angel University because looking at their composition, they should have really been utilizing what's yeah, early game. This is not that good for hello. Sabi dito ni Cry, hello pre. Oh Get Sager and gets executed mula doon sa collateral damage that opens up for the referral to be taken here by Invictus. And you know, ganun kabilis ang command, ganun kasimple ang command. Napatay natin yung mid lane, let's go for the referral. It's just, you know, objectives being taken, kills after kills. Yes, I'm loving how you see Invictus is playing this out. It's very textbook in a way that, but still, despite it being very textbook, you know, taking objectives, take advantage of each opportunity, very well played as in, 
clean, super, super clean, salutes. very clean. Yes, exactly. That mm -hmm. would be the right word. But a very clean execution that we're seeing here from the University of Cordilleras. And I feel like Holy Angel University re should really be picking up some slack here because, especially yeah. Sarel being on the solution. Sure, I. Personally, I'm, as I've said earlier, I'm a fan of Zarel, but then looking at that illusion, he's one of those more early game champions who yeah. eventually falls off mid late game. And as they transcend into that mid late game, Zarel is going to have a really hard time carrying the team, especially if they do not establish some kind of lead or equal ground against University of Fortuna. Yes, but, oh, and Lucifer, goodness. he might regret his sins over this top <laughs> lane as Dreen will get a kill onto him with the help from Akaiban. Yes, finally, we see a little bit of action and a good play there from Holy Angel University. I was kind of worried there that I might not be able to pick up the slack, but yeah. very well played there by both Drin Big and Big si Lucifer is nag eh, nag twisted advance. Oh, ow! Look at the damage from that karma. Oh yeah. my <laughs> goodness. As I was saying, we like 400 damage mula dun sa mantra inspired soul player. Ah, oh, man. As I was saying earlier, we always keep on looking at her for her utility but we underestimate her for what potential she has a carry and that is the type of place that I'm talking about to see from a karma in the mid lane somewhat yeah. similar to fade can from celestial back when he was more prominent on that karma oh uh, can be said na ah oh, don't see si gino so he really knows he Isn't tried. Not confident, no? Maybe. Pero sige, follow up kasi. Oh, follow up naman kasi mula kay Cry. He gets stagged there by the Glacial Prison plus Exhaust. This is a sure shutdown now. Onto the Bounty Hunter and Bounty Holder dito ng Invictus Gaming. There's another jump mula kay Van. Gets stopped ng Q dito. Calling being laid down. Two man knock up there by... Not on that Alistar, what a name. But still, the damage na magagaling mula kay YG. Gets stagged and kinonect dito kay Bronze. Oh, focus resolved now. Kay Brom is not the best target. Yes, basta makakuha ng Kill Panalo na, one for one pa rin as the Malka Lucifer will go down under Chariot. Serel not the best positioning, my friend, sa harap ng Alistar. Kahit pa under Chariot, that opens YG to get the kill. The real G in this game, YG, soul player. Right now, 8-3 tie sa itong scoreboard in Victus Gaming, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I am finally loving the bloodbath that we yeah. saw in that mid lane. <laughs> what a bloodbath University talaga. of Cordillera is coming out on top. And you have to take note, that was a Tower of Diet from them, where technically... Yeah. How had a little bit of an advantage, but University of Cordilleras just executed that absolutely beautifully. And that Very karma, beautiful. oh yeah. my goodness, I'm loving the plays coming from YG here. YG, man, YG! <laughs> yes, YG, where have I heard that? Kind of like X-Con, a... give it to <laughs> UG! What? Okay. Yeah, and then may, sina, may nabanggit lang. Ayan. So, 3 8 uh, ladies and gentlemen, 19 minutes into the game. And right now, methodically being done here by Invictus Gaming, they're pulling up their dives. They actually won two lanes. Yes, yeah, exactly. clearly they actually won two lanes. The mid lane and bottom lane. Top lane, chami chami pa, sakto pa. Pero in control pa rin si Lucifer. Ang, ang problema kasi doon, si Lucifer minsan nag-initiate siya. And eto, Deja Buna naman. Another gank mula kay Van. And I would like to comment on Van's gankings. Mm -hmm. I mean, knowing uh, Zach. Yes. Kind of lacklusters. That's true. Yung uh, lackluster yung gank niya na parang... Uh, mas may tempo at hustle pa na nagagalik mula kay Grimms. I'm actually glad that you brought that up because... Oh, oh my goodness! Malaking mula kay MHBGHLF. Yan ka! Yung pangalan mo kasi, pre! <laughs> Hello, is it me you're looking for indeed? <laughs> yeah. 4 and 8 now on that score. And this is nice para sa Holy Angel University. The Infernal Drake now. They're all free in the position to take that one. Pero lalapit pa rin dito si Cry. Will he get a collateral damage out of that one? We'll see though. No, he won't. He gets zoned out by the gravity field and that's gonna be the Infernal Drake yes. being in the hands now of Holy Angel University. My team fight na mga yare 5v4 and not the best scenario para sa Invictus. Why you do this mga pre? You're gonna get ace! You're gonna get ace mga pre! And that's a two-man soul play. All cooldowns are up para dito kay YG. YG! Double kill mula kay, uh, mula dito kay Sarel. And that's Holy Angel University's comeback! In this mid lane. Yes, oh my goodness. Very well played by Whole Angel University. That are the type of plays that they technically needed to be making as early as yeah. the first few minutes of the game. But I'm kind of glad that they kind of found their rhythm in this game. 8 and 9 now on the scoreboard. Fairly evened out. And there we go. Looking at this replay, yeah. I'm just really loving how efficient Holy Angel University yes, played man. this out. And look at the damage. You know, they really kind of juggled the damage output here. YG yeah. still at full health, but... 
Holy Angel University Sarah really played this out man. a bit more better in the positioning, and they really made sure that they balanced out this karma and oh. juggled out the damage. Because we know that YG was dealing lots of damage here, and very well played Holy Angel University right Salwa there. Rhythm, ma pre. Yes. Listen to the rhythm of the falling rain. Yeah, that's what I'm Wondering talking about. Wondering where the fool <laughs> has been. Those are the groups that we're talking about. By the way, the I'm going to sure, go to Sure, shit, <laughs> 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 sure. Trying to. Okay. Try to ah, okay. ano pa rin ako? My Chemical Romance. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm Slash Reese music. There we go now. Ma, uh, suicide Squad. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. And so. 8-9 tayo. Quite close dito sa ating laro. 1K gold lead para sa Invictus. Ladies and gentlemen, as one team that is being won there by Holy Angel University. Makita nyo, after a good amount of time na may lamang yung Invictus, in just one team fight, ang dali na babawin ng Holy Angel University, di ba? Kasi because yes. of the bounty kills. Pero hindi ito yung magandang pwesto. Lalo pa, you get collapsed by three member. Buti na lang dumating dito si Lucian. Use the calling, all word it to save a teammate. Yes, and Holy Angel University, you know, I feel like those are, they continually need to make those kind of plays. Oh! Play oh! Ezreal in a bad position! Now, okay. nag-delay pa doon. Kung sana nakatag si Van ng isang normal hit plus isang Q, maybe he will be able to proc the concussive blow mm -hmm. on Ezreal. I wonder though. Yes. And, you know, hopefully we'll kind of see a turnaround here from Holy Angel University because technically yeah. those were the type of things that you should have been utilizing early game. You know, they have that strong presence, the gang presence from that Zach. Yun and, eh. um, si Graves pa yung naging nagkaroon ng strong presence. Exactly. I felt like um, in looking at this particular composition, like Van should have really been stepping up early, but still they kind of made up through that clash we saw earlier in the Dragon Pit. So, nonetheless, it's still anybody's game, I'd say, but still Holy Angel University is going to have a bit of trouble in that mid and late game if they do not step it up within the next few minutes. And take note, yung kinalamang din ng Holy Angel University sa last team fight, it's a 4v5. Yes. Natanggal yung Alistar. Na pick up nilang ng na na pick up nilang mabilis yung Alistar and nagdecide para na magengage yung Invictus against Holy Angel University because of the lead that they have maybe they got complacent and got be and become willing to take on this 4v5 team fight and look at this in the top lane mga may collapse dito tower dive na the best scenario at the glacial prison hindi na connect kay Graves pero of course nandun si Drain palo palo lamang kay Cry 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 on this Graves now we see Karma joins the team fight focus resolve now onto Drain no clear damage on these two melees pero here comes the Victor hello sabi ni hello and now there's also the fire pillar or rather the pillar of filth connecting onto YG but they're gonna see focus go for this Maokai another Another follow-up ka event, a really nice team fight won here by Holy Angel University, and that's three kills in the back in trade of one, ladies and gentlemen, force majeure. Yes, finally, Holy Angel University really living up to the oh skill that they kind of picked up yeah. from their sister team GM. But oh, we have a BR attempt coming in from Holy Angel University. Will University of Cordilleras be able to respond to this with only the Alistar and the Ezreal? They have the damage they, actually, pero they're gonna yes. get punished definitely if that. Ah, uh, Trundle gets tagged by the Mystic Shot, pero so far cooldown Ooh, na yung Mystic yes. Shot. Kung isang Mystic Shot lang sana yung nag-correct kay Trundle, it could be big. They're gonna go for the chase on this one, maybe not. Dalawa pa rin sila. And that's Holy Angels comeback. Clear comeback na 11 against 10. 1k gold lead, but the big lead here, or rather the visible lead here, is the Baron buff in Holy exactly. Angels. Exactly. And I feel like Holy Angel University should really take advantage of this Baron buff. Knowing that going towards the later in the game, Sarel is gonna fall off. Although they still have Hello to uh, maintain a little bit of relevance going into the mid and late game. And as well as Drin, you know, I feel like Drin can make a comeback on yes. this frontal as well. Along with, as long as they keep up the synergy with Van, who I feel is gonna be a key in making sure that these classes really go into their favor along, of course, of course, with the um, effectivity of pawns as well in on the Brom. Nice, nice. Yes, man, exactly. So, we have Holy Angels pacing na sa larong yes, to. As you mentioned, exactly. anong pwede nilang magawa? Diba? With this Baron buff, they have to definitely utilize it. They actually have good juicy objectives. They there have two outer turrets available for them if they want to put pressure. Lalo pa on both ends ng mapa. So, this is for this Baron buff, it could be said na there's one assured turret na for the taking here ng Holy Angel University. Further 
push their lead now sitting on a 1k gold lead once again they're looking maybe to close that one onto the 2k gold lead after destroying this outer bottom lane target na ipapamigay na rin ng uh, Invictus University of Cordilleras yes, especially having that Baron buff you know there's not really University of Cordilleras can do with those outer towers but what they can do is kind of be a bit more solid in defending the inner ones otherwise although if they don't really play this out correctly then Holy Angel University is really going to take advantage of this Baron buff along with the amplified damage coming from that Infernal Drake so there we go. Oh, 26 Ooh, minutes dito sa ating laro. You could see Holy Angel University. All it takes is, you know, one fire badge. Yeah. <laughs> fire badge. Oh, Hula <laughs> sa Infernal Drake. <laughs> Mas malakas daw yung fire badge kaysa dyan sa Ocean Badge nyo. At kukuha na rin kami ng Ocean Drake dito. Pero there's gonna be a clear collapse on this one. Ilalaban ito. Napunta. Ocean Drake kay Holy Angel A dream man Pulverize of course Done here by the Alistar Teleport din na magagaling Mula kay Trantel Hindi makaka-teleport dito Si Mawakai Things are going so bad Na lang yung teleport ni Mawakai Dito para sa Invictus And you know The Alistar is just Stacking up the damage The Graves gets caught up And the two techs In the front line Zack doing the work On si Akinos And the Karma Being done Busy dito ni Pons Lucifer Nahuli ka Lucifer Magdasal ka na pre And now There's gonna be Four members gone Para sa Invictus In exchange of one will they secure an ace no they won't but that is a massive win done there by holy angel university against invictus what a team fight yes and for holy angel university i gotta commend um sarel their ad carry here because as i was saying earlier early game i was kind of wondering why he wasn't stepping up but now five one and four on this illusion very beautifully played and the synergy between holy angel university how they've been playing out the comeback is yeah. real beautifully played by very MLB. clean comeback tuloy tuloy exactly. ng comeback utilize na utilize lumaban yung invictus na naman sa holy angel mas unang naka teleport si dream dito sa isang team fight so yes. they have the numbers advantage with the Baron buff. Exactly. And you know, that is not a position where University of Cordilleras and did not want to be in at all. Tingnan mo yun, yun recently na din award lang ni Zach tsaka ni Lucian na award. Pwede mag-teleport dun eh si yes. Mao Kaya. So, tingnan natin ha. Yes, there you go. In terms of numbers, so, 4v4 to. Force team fight. Ang isang crucial point, tatlo yung nakasalo yes. nung Kayo Storm. Ang laki ng damage kay Kray, ang laki ng damage kay Akinos. At teleport ni Mao Kaya. Ah, walang ma-teleportan si Mao Kai. Yun yung danger. That is the Hindi problem, pa nakapaglagay right si MB. Ang Alistar na yan. <laughs> na may wind pangalan. Ngayon lang nalagay yung teleport. Pero yung teleport na si Mao Kai sa yes. backline. At ayun yung danger. Dahil lang sa isang ward na wala, mm -hmm. they got in a 5v4 situation. They lose their tank. Ang napaka-clear, it's because they lack tank on this team fight. Mm -hmm. Lucifer, he got collapsed on by the Holy Angels here. Yes. You know, you could write that one. What a nice reference. And yeah, it's just, you know, a team fight. 4v4 four four in trade of one. Yes, exactly. And 15 and 11 on that scoreboard right now. And daming mga cliche na laban sa LCL. What? Cliche in like, what sense, would you say? Ateneo, tapos UPD, uh -huh. tapos mga ex-champions, ganon, mga may tides na kalaban. Yes. E SLU, ULS. And ito naman, Holy Angel versus a team na may Lucifer sa kanila. Okay. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> you know, LCL, mga kaibigan, pero you could see another cleanup being done here by Invictus this time. They're gonna make picks, hindi team fights. Natatalo daw sila sa team fights, palag-palag. So, Lucifer advances in onto Pons, pero that stops the picks. One for one lang tayo. It's exactly. gonna be cry in exchange for LO on those separate assassinations and picks, pero tuloy-tuloy lamang. Another combo dito ni Alistar, follow up by YG. Focus, resolve, won't connect the setter stun, and Dream yes. will join the fight. In the backline, and Dutch Serral takes the free hit. Does he have the calling? No, he won't. It's now on cooldown. And of course, 4v3 ang situation dito. Napaka mapanganit. Ooh. Twisted advance onto Trundle. They're gonna pick up the Trundle. The troll kissing the ground. Another knockup dito ng Alistar. Ang galing ng Alistar na to ha. Exhaust oh. naman dito kay Serral. On top of that, uh, you know, soul player. And that's three picks in Holy Angel University. In the blink of an eye, Invictus na naman has it. What a swaying game. Yes, exactly. And that is not really a position Holy Angel University should have been in, especially knowing that the victor was down earlier and they didn't really have as much damage as the damage output University Cordilleras had in that Mythic Cashman. Oh, that'll be a tower down. For yeah, it's a clear team, but it's, uh, parang exactly. it's just a matter of my now Yes, exactly. <laughs> and I, Oh, but 
what just happened right yeah. there? But <laughs> I would commend Alistar for his performance on the headbutt pull brace combo. To sunod sunod. Yes. Yeah. I feel really like nice. that would have that kind of made up for the late ward drop. Yeah. in the Dragon team fight earlier. So yeah, 16 and 14. This is just kind of going back and forth. Like early game, it was in University of Cordillera's favor. Later on, Holy Angel was kind of able to turn it around. And then through those mishaps that they made, it kind of went even again with University of Cordillera's. And as I was saying earlier, late game, University of Cordillera's is looking pretty good. Although yeah. in terms of yeah, how yeah. they've been playing it out here for, I feel like Holy Angel University still has a really good chance. Oh, uh, uh, of course. Because of this victory. Exactly. Late game, Exactly. Chaka Trundle. Trundle late game din. Hindi biro din. Yes, and I feel like Sarel is one of those players where ensure the champion itself falls off, but by the way he's playing this Lucian, it's as though that um, dragging onto this mid and late game, he's still in top form and contributing very well to these team fights. And oh, but look at this, a little bit of action happening here. <laughs> like combo don si Ali Stark, eh, bro. <laughs> Walang follow up na zone talaga yung teammates And he's not there to protect his teammates. And look at the burst mula kay Hello, hello, sabi kay Akinos. Now it's gonna be that Minions taking the turret hit. And look at the burst then. Late game, Victor Ooh. nga mga kaibigan. Still the soul player is there. Oh, the Ali Stark didn't manage to pulverize the Victor activates the ult in the back line. We have the let's bounce being done here by Vaughn. You could see that Invictus has the lower hand in this game, whereas Holy Angel in the upper hand. My oh, follow up, yes. ba para sa initiate ng Zack nato. Yes, meron pagpasok ng ating Lucian. Pumasok si Brom. Lucian in the front line. Serena's Ooh. late YG. YG! And now they're gonna destroy this bottom lane inhibitor turret on top of the corpse ng apat na membro ng Invictus Gaming. This is Holy Angel's lead. You can see, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. I'm loving how there's just no hesitation coming from Holy Angel in Verde. They know what's on the line. This is the wild card game. They really need to start picking yeah. up the base. I'm so proud of how they managed to do that. And Trundle. nothing is phasing them in this game versus University of Cordilleras. And in fact, looking at this, two inhibitors down now for the side of University of Cordilleras. They are going to have a little bit of trouble controlling this map now. Especially along with that lead, along with the control that Holy Angel University is now about to establish. Round of applause, ladies and Holy Angel yeah. University Yung poising themselves very well. Na yun, it was clearly one because walang ADC. Yes, exactly. Yung Invictus. Like, like the burst Invictus. coming down from hello earlier. Hello I feel like that was a hello and a goodbye to the Ezreal <laughs> in that case. Very well played there. And now we have another Infernal Drake available somewhere sleep. Kasama pa doon yung Baron. Pero... University of Calderillas, it seems that they are hovering over this infern, uh, rather over this yes. Baron. So, will this be a Baron fight? If this is a team fight, that it, kung sino man yung team na may may papanalo or mapapanalo itong team fight na to, there's a clear objective for them to be won. It's either Infernal Drake or the Baron, but rather there's gonna be a recall na magagaling mula sa support dito. Rather, kinancel, okay, nakita yes. nila na nagpunta sa Infernal Drake. Rest of the members ng, in, ng Holy Angel University and that's the signal to go all in on this Baron. Things may go bad for Invictus. Yes. Kinukulang sila ng damage. Wala yung Ezreal tsaka sa Karma nung sinimula nila itong Baron. And there's also a teleport mula kay Dream. I think this is the signal for a team fight. Dream yes. the front line kasama Ooh. si Van. And of course, there's a clip follow up mula kay Brom. Not the best targets. Kung ito yung tank na ipofocus nyo. Andiyan na sila Lucian. Gera na mga kaibigan. Napapaligiran namin kayo. So there's gonna be the Ali Star and Lucifer in the front line. In the back line, nakaabot si Van. Managing to tag Akinos. But Van will get collapse mula kay YG. YG! Double kill naman mula sa ating Ali. Star and three members are gone para sa Invictus. It's just the damage coming in mula kay Hello and Saril who is not being touched here in the back line and Invictus is collapsing on to the mighty and holy forces of Force Major Holy Angel University. They're looking and has their eyes set on finishing the game. Yes, very well played there, Hi Holy Angel University. That was just yeah. not a really good it's only Lucifer who link kalaban final battle Yowch. final boss kissing the ground and that marks the victory of the holy forces holy angel university force major ladies and gentlemen taking on the victory against Invictus Gaming oh what? my goodness what a comeback yes what a comeback I In would say case like holy angel university just just really 
having a bit of trouble picking up the pace in the yeah. early game, especially since technically they did have that advantage. But once again, they kind of realized what was on the line. They rallied together, started having a bit more cleaner team fights, and in the end, they emerged absolutely victorious. And I gotta commend them. Very well played yeah. by both University of Cordilleras and Holy Angel. Uh, actually, if you look well into the end game screen, we can see Dito, uh, coach, what are the insights? Natin? Tingnan mo, just the lead mula kay Dream and Hello. Just exactly. the scaling din ng mga late game assets ng Holy Angel University. Pero further sa performance din, syempre, ng Invictus Gaming, yun nga, si Cry, 6-6-3. Yes. Pero after that early game lead, after nung comeback, dun sa teamfight sa bottom lane, wala na, parang exactly. napaklin na. I feel like University of Cordilleras didn't really know what to do with that lead that they had, you know. And they didn't really capitalize it, and, and as a result, that comeback from uh, Holy Angel University really kind of screwed them over in the yeah. end. And look at this damage, though. Stats dito, ah, yes. Na University of the Cordillera. Si Dibiro yung stats nyan. That's the stats, stats damage dealt to champion. Pero may mga crucial team fights lang talaga na naitalo dito yung University of the Cordillera, like yung late teleport ni yes. Maokai. And dun, dun nag-capitalize ng napakalinis yung Holy Angel University. Commendable performance yes. on the victor. Kay Hello. Exactly. Like, early he was kind of being bullied out by Nahira the karma. Nahirapan siya kay Karma. He, exactly. And he made that combat. He really stood his ground. He didn't allow himself to be behind in CS. There you go. Exactly. And it really paid off for Holy Angel University. And I feel like they really thought it through. The mechanics, I guess it was kind of really planned out then so very well played ladies and gents okay, so mad mad props para sa Holy Angel University gonna proceed sa finals ng ating wildcard bracket whereas you know we are receiving our giving our best regards para sa mga summoners natin dyan sa University of the Caldereras Invictus Gaming good performance especially for Cry we're looking forward on having you again here at the LOL Collegiate League what a game Nice game. Yes. Uh, and GW. ladies and gentlemen, that is the conclusion of game two. But no worries, we still have four games up <laughs> ahead for our low collegiate yeah. league. And thank you very much once again to Smart. Ladies and gentlemen, we are your shoutcasters once again. This is Arctic of Working Towards La Liga Pilipinas. And of course, Shinbo with the one for an eye. Esports shoutcaster will be right back for game three.